Namaste, Tina Thrussell here with the Shin Dao, the way of the heart. Not sure what's up with the internet this morning. It seems to be a bit sporadic. We'll see if we can manage to get through this. So last night was our date night. Neil and I have uh, season's tickets for Stage West and it was our night to go to Stage West. We went and had a fabulous time and I was very aware that Satyan Raja, who has been a very influential teacher in our lives in years gone past, was doing a live video, I think announcing the revivement of the Warrior Sage program, which we were very involved with many years ago and enjoyed very much. And I was a bit sad to miss that live announcement, but thrilled to be having my date night with my beloved of 33 years, yeah. Um, and this morning, I had this interesting thought just before I was about to sit and meditate. <laughs> I was just thinking, it would be really interesting to head out to Satyan's place, assuming they're going to open their doors the way they did in the past so that people can come visit, just spend time, hang out with them. And I had this flash of a thought of, I'd love to let him see how much I've changed, how much I've grown over the years. And I immediately laughed out loud. It's like, Pah! there's your ego wanting to impress someone. Like, really, what does it matter what he thinks? Just be who you are. Don't go and be some enlightened guru and go with this crazy attitude that, you're gonna show them how amazing you are. Cause that's just crap from the ego. Just to be real, that's the bottom line. You've gotta be authentic, you've gotta be real. Especially with people who are fairly enlightened teachers themselves. They see right through all of that. Ooh, I want to impress you. The drooling puppy thing at your feet is just like, <sighs> <laughs> and that was the flash that went through my mind. So um, here I am just being real and encouraging you to be real. Forget about impressing people. You know the whole corporate world is all about, oh, you have to make an important first impression and la la la. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying be a jerk. <laughs> Don't, I'm not saying show up for a business meeting and not care how you look. I am saying be real in who you are and how you show up, in the way you speak, the actions you take. Be authentic. Be in integrity. Make sure that your actions match your words so that people can believe in you and trust you. If there's incongruency, people see it and it makes them have little alarm bells go off. So just be who you are, be real. You can still be kind and polite and compassionate and loving in your realness. Just don't put on any facades. There's no show. Be who you are. And if they love you, that's fantastic. And if they don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It matters more that you love who you are, that you like who you are, that you know who you are and are willing to love you no matter what. Good morning, Sharon. I see a little pop in there. Um, thank you. Love you too. Um, be real, be authentic. That is living the way of the heart, living from your heart living from your realness, from who you are, without the need to impress, without the ego thought that says, oh, what will they think of me? Just be you. Because I assure you, no matter, no matter what, someone out there is going to love you a lot just for being you. Trust me. And you don't have to trust me. Just be you and watch what happens. The people who aren't authentic and who aren't real are going to drop away, yes. But the people who are real, thank you, Sharon, yeah, it is important. The people who are real will be there for you and will love you even more for your being real and authentic. 
So remember that if people don't like what they see and they drop away, it's probably all for the good. Be you so that the people you love can love you more fully. That's my message for the rest of this week. Maybe, maybe I'll wake up tomorrow and be inspired with something to share too. But for now, I wish you a very authentic day. Mwah. Thank you for the love and sharing. I'll see you later. Namaste.